On Sunday, March 3, 2019, at least, 23, people were killed by F3 tornadoes which hit locations including Beauregard, Montgomery and Smith Station in Lee County, Alabama, and Talbot and in Talbot County, Georgia, United States of America. The area around Beauregard, about 60 miles, 95 kilometers, east of Alabama's state capital Montgomery, appears to have borne the brunt, the tornadoes there struck at about 1400 hours, 2000 hours o'clock GMT, on Sunday, carving a path at least a half a mile wide and at least a mile long, footage of the aftermath shows snapped communications poles, roads littered with debris and wrecked houses, residents of Smith Station said they had seen businesses destroyed there, a large bar called the Buck Wild Saloon had had its roof torn off, Talbotton in Talbot County in Georgia also got hit, tornado warnings were also issued for Georgia, Florida and South Carolina. The National Weather Service NWS, classified it as at least an F3, meaning winds of up to 165 miles per hour, 266 kilometers per hour, the sheriff of Lee County, Jay Jones, said that the devastation caused by the winds was incredible, one reporter tweeted that, we have found evidence that the Lee CO. Flea market billboard along US Highway 280 traveled 20 miles, in today's Lee County, GA tornado. It was torn off N of Smith Station, ALN landed 20 miles to the NE in Hamilton, GA. Alabama Sen. Doug Jones talked with local authorities in the areas devastated by tornadoes, I cannot recall, at least in the last 50 years, and longer than that, a situation where we have had this type, this loss of life that we experienced today," said the sheriff of Lee County, Alabama, of the possible tornado that hit the area. Lee County Sheriff Jay Jones said, it looks like someone has taken a giant knife and scraped the ground, there are slabs where homes formerly stood, debris everywhere, whole forested areas with trees are snapped and lying on the ground, a lot of devastation out there. A statewide state of emergency is in operation, with resources from across the state pouring into the affected area, drones with infrared capability are being used in an attempt to find survivors. Alabama meteorologist Eric Snittle said that there had been more tornado deaths in Lee County in one day than in the whole U.S. during 2018.